Noctua really made a name for themselves many years ago with the release of a brilliant CPU air cooler. It was the NHD14. Shortly after that, they released the D15 and now the D15S. What's the difference between this one and the previous one? Well, not a whole lot. Dimensions are pretty much the same. The overall design is pretty much the same, but this one is asymmetrical and thus it gives you more video card, motherboard, and RAM compatibility. There's nothing shabby about this box at all. It has lots of information about the product on it. And not surprising, it's packaged extremely well. Two boxes. This one has the heat sink and the fan in it plus another one which has the mounting system and accessories. Now let's unbox, or I should say unwrap, the heat sink. It's packaged very well. We've got a piece of cardboard here in the middle, so it's not going to be moving around in transit. And included in this box are all of these items, manuals for installing it on the different sockets, mounting hardware, a case badge, a screwdriver, their great NTH1 thermal compound, a couple of fan clips for installing an optional fan, and a low voltage adapter. This cooler is compatible with all current motherboards, and if the mounting hardware does not come in the box, you can go ahead and get it from Noctua. Now let's go through the dimensions and the weight and it will vary whether you have the fan installed or not you know maybe you want to go completely passive if you have the fan installed though the dimension is 165 millimeters high the width is 150 millimeters and the depth is 135 really the only difference here with and without the fan installed is the height so without the fan of course it's going to be a little short shorter at 160 millimeters high instead of 165. Now without the fan as for weight it is 980 grams but with the fan it is 1150 grams and keep in mind you can add two more fans if you choose two more of these fantastic NH a15 PWM fans on each side. What you have here is two towers. Each of these has many aluminum fins and there's six heat pipes going into each and it goes down to a solid copper base and everything is nickel coated. Now have a closer look at how all of these heat pipes come down and go actually into this solid copper base which is extremely smooth. Now there's a cutout on each tower and that's for RAM compatibility so sometimes you have those really hardcore modules and they are pretty darn high that will give you that particular flexibility and speaking of compatibility this heatsink has an asymmetrical design it is kind of lopsided in a way but that is intentional and what it does is give you more video card support in that it's not going to be touching the video card in some cases for example if video cards have a back plate there isn't you know you just need that little bit more a few millimeters and certainly this design will do that just make sure of course you're installing the cooler correctly now as for this brilliant nfa 15 pwm fan well it comes with an sso2 bearing the maximum spin is 1500 rpms minimum spin is 300 rpms with the low noise adapter installed though it is 1200 rpms as for noise level with the low noise adapter installed it's very quiet at 19.2 2 decibels and regularly it is 24.6 decibels the input power is 1.56 watts and the voltage is 12 volts and it will pretty much last forever 150,000 hours and by the way this cooler comes with a six year warranty If you're looking for one of the very best CPU air coolers out there, this would definitely be it. It is outstanding in every way. It looks just incredible. Performance is fantastic and it's reasonably priced considering what you're getting. You can also add one or two optional fans on this 
to get even better performance. Plus, this over the standard D15 will give you that RAM and motherboard compatibility. Overall, without a doubt, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.